Our friend, the world famous Richard Takato, I'm sorry, Richard Takato is uh, here with us. And um, thank you so much for reaching out to Richard. We, he's telling us all the time about how many listeners are, are reaching out and saying, hey, Show me about that refi, and let's do some stuff like that. That's the way you put it, though. Show me, yeah, about, that yeah, show me about that refi. <laughs> what, what you got about that refi? <laughs> the, uh, so the, I mean, the cool thing is, is what is Ace has said. We have a lot of options, and we have, re, you know, I'm doing refinances for people. You know, we have people down in Greenville, North Carolina. We have them you know, all, you know, at the beach at South Carolina. We have them in Charlotte. And the main thing is to refinance, make their finances better, make it take the stress of every month. You know, if I save them seven hundred dollars a month, eight hundred dollars a month, it's a big deal for them. Yeah, it's a real big deal. Seven hundred dollars yeah. a month. That's fantastic. And again, yeah. we've talked about this before. Richard's a broker. That's how he gets more options than a bank. Yeah. He can do more. Just go to homewithrichard.com to get started. Homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Companies. Hey, it's Ace, and for a long time, we've told you about Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic, and how phenomenal a job they did helping me with my left wrist. Well, this is Neil. Neil Simler is a member of the Ace and TJ Radio family. Neil, you took the free consultation to have them check out your elbow and talk about what happened just when you went for the free consultation. Uh, they were very straightforward and let me know that they weren't going to treat any of my ailments if they weren't 100% sure that they were going to be able to effectively help my issue and uh, never weren't once were they pushy with trying to get me to spend more money and do, you know, the, the higher end shots. Now, three months later, how do you feel? I'm 95% better, if not 100%. You know, it, it's just been one of the best decisions I've made. Do yourself a favor. Get out there as soon as possible. Set up your free consultation today at acetj.com slash neogenics. It's N-E-O-G-E-N-I-X. Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic. They say there are only two things certain in life. Sweet deals at sweet dreams and taxes. And only one of those is certain this month. Which one? The sweet deals at sweet dreams. What about the taxes? No sales tax the entire month of April at Sweet Dreams. Are you serious? Yeah. And don't call me Shirley. Love where you live, Lake Norman, and pay no sales tax during the month of April. Only at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress. It's the Ace and TJ Show. With a little extra. With a little extra. Uncensored, unedited, and almost uninterrupted. Get ready for the most extra podcast known to man. The Ace and TJ Show presents the Extra Funny Podcast. Do y'all think it would be too harsh if we started doing a segment uh, called Should Have Been Shot on the Spot? <laughs> <laughs> so, because it was, I am intrigued. Yeah, it would go something like this. There's a 35 um, year old guy named Antonio Rosario. Uh, he lives in New York City. Shot on the spot. And he was uh, arrested because he was in a Dunkin'. They don't call it Dunkin' Donuts anymore because it's so much more than donuts. Oh, I did not it's realize that. Dunkin'. Dunkin' on the run. Hey. Okay. I didn't know that. I got delicious Duncan sandwiches. Duncan shit and everything. <laughs> um so he he was in the Duncan and he went into an unhinged rage and the employee had to call 911 um because he went in and ordered six pumpkin donuts and they only could sell him five cuz that's all they had. Now, most Dunkin Donut locations if not all of them, um, don't cook the donuts on site. Right. The donuts are cooked somewhere else and then brought and taken to each location. Um, so he said, you're gonna effing make it. Like I'm not leaving here without six pumpkin donuts. I want six. So he's going into this rage over that. He stormed out then came back with a gun um so nobody was hurt but the cops showed up and arrested him and he did have a loaded uh, semi-automatic on him facing up to seven years in prison partially because he's a convicted felon who isn't allowed to have a gun and he's also served time twice before once for attempted murder he just uh, pleaded guilty but they haven't given him his sentence yet now as soon as he showed up with that gun and he's freaking out over a donut 
the employees there should have been able to just shoot him on the spot. Yeah, I'm Agreed. with you. Like, you are a maniac, and there's no telling what you're going to do. So before you can do your next move, boom, yeah. you're down. We can't wait to see what happens next. Yeah. <clears throat> Plus, he's a man, and he should have been ordering pumpkin anything. Well, hold mm. on a minute. But, I mean, we, yeah, no man yeah. should be ordering pumpkin donuts, Rob. That's hold on a minute. Innocent, innocent citizens are going to just have to stop <clears throat> effing around. That's what's going to have to happen. Yeah. You run in there and you and you're already a piece of crap, you know, felon freaking out because you can't get a donut. What a brat. What what yeah. a, just a complete and total um, narcissist idiot who ha, uh is used to being able to bully people. So somebody should have, you know, as you they say punch a bully in the nose, they should have punched him in the nose with a bullet. <laughs> <laughs> no word on whether or not he was high or drunk doesn't or anything matter. like that. Yeah, I'm doesn't just saying matter. Matters, no, it curious. No, it didn't say. Because it's like you it just be seemed curious. like he was just, just an one asshole. donut. Like you got five out of six. They don't have one more. Big deal. Just a. You should be ordering pumpkin donuts anyway. B. You got five out of six. Yeah. Get a get a you know get a chocolate covered donut and get the hell out of there. No, but it's a um, it's a, a narcissism thing where you, you're not going. I want. A pump, another pumpkin donut, and you are going to give me another pumpkin donut because you're disrespecting me, yeah. telling me I can't have six when I want six. So at that point, there's no reasoning with this person, and you're going to tell me he wouldn't be better off, even if he didn't. I'm not saying if he, if he didn't die, he'd learn a lesson, and we're, and all society would be better. Valid point. And if he did, eh. Don't come in there with a gun acting like you're going to kill somebody because they didn't they don't have a donut that you want. Yeah. How are we supposed to live with people like that in a in a civil society? Yeah, you can't. I don't like even asking people to go look for stuff in the back. Like, you know, if they have, "Oh, y'all out of these?" and they said, "Yeah." If they say, "Let me, if they will offer, let me go look in the back and see if we have any more." But I would never say, Dude, "Would you mind going look in the back and see if they have any more of these?" <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm just yeah. like, "Okay, you're out. You're out. You're out." Uh, Sounds good. I hate to inconvenience you. Well, yeah. if I were the person working and, and they say, well, you see if you have any in the back, I would say, okay, uh, do you want me to also see if I can pull them out of my ass? Because I know I don't have them in the back. We got them all out here. I don't, we don't make the donuts here. I also, you I didn't, shithead. I didn't know that they didn't make the donuts in most Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah. Mm, that's why they differ. That's why they hit different. Yeah, <laughs> they yeah, do be hit different. That's why they're not that good. Um, but I mean, I love Dunkin'. Great coffee. I love all their other yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, Sure, sure. But, um. And just a heads up, if you ask somebody to look in the back, I, as somebody who worked in retail, I can assure you they are not, they go to the back room, but then they just hang out for like two, <laughs> yeah. two minutes and they go, sorry, we don't have it. I that did it all. <laughs> we don't have it. But evidently me, that, used to, be, that yeah, yeah. used to be an option because it, yeah. you know, it used to work. We go, oh yeah, we just got a shipment of those in. Yeah, like it it, had, it works at the grocery store sometimes. We used to tell people like everything we have is actually out on the floor because it goes right from yeah. the truck out to the, they go, can you still check? And you go. No problem. <laughs> yeah, in a million years, check. if you told me that in a million years, I would never respond with it. Could you go check? Could it, you check anyway? Like, no. I go, yeah, you got it. <laughs> when I worked, then you just spend a minute or two minutes just sitting back there and looking at the break room wall or <laughs> hanging out, and then you go, "Sorry, it's nothing." Sorry. When I worked at Best Buy, we actually did have stuff in the back, but I do the same thing. <laughs> Oh, so mm. wait, oh, that, that's, that's, you could that's have exactly. actually been helping them. It could, right? it could have been back there, but uh, okay. it just wasn't somehow. I don't know. It's crazy. Wow. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Yeah, and more. they say that the people at Best Buy don't work on commission. So they're just yeah. as uh, you know, helpful about everything <laughs> or, or not helpful about anything hey, in I, Rob's case. Yeah, I was, I was selling video games. They'd ask me to go check for computers and stuff. I don't know what I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. Get somebody else. Yeah, you do know what you're looking for because they told you. Nah, it's fine. They'll be okay. Mm. They said like, hey, I'm looking for a MacBook Pro. I'm like, okay, I'm going to go see we got one Ooh, in the back. We're all out. Sorry. I said, go to the Apple store. What are you doing here? <laughs> yeah, this is pretty bad. But um, if they offer to go look in the back for something, I'll accept that. Like I was at, sure, yes. the, at the grocery store not long ago, and um, they, I could see that they were putting out n new produce. But the produce that I wanted, like I wanted cilantro, a couple other things, and it just looked bad. Yeah. Uh, and um, the lady asked me, can I help you find something? Because I guess she saw the disgusted look on my face. <laughs> cilantro is <laughs> terrible. Yeah. Oh, my God. You should Ew. be ashamed. 
And I said, I'm I'm just looking for um, cilantro and, and um, green onions. And is this? Uh, and she goes, Well, hold on a minute. Those do look bad. Let me go see if we've got any in the back. I'm, I think I think we do. We got everything in the back. We just haven't had time to put it out yet. We're doing it now. I said, Oh, I see the cart. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Go in there. And then she she went for the cilantro. And then the next thing I was looking for looked bad too and i said i I did ask her then i'm sorry to bother you can you go see if y'all have this back there yep well now she's established that we've got stuff in the back so it's Mm -hmm. okay she's like heads up real pain in the ass customer over here yeah in the Uh, herb section (laughs) them them gordon ramsay wannabe here thinks he's got to have fresh herbs make sure we got to have some good looking cilantro (laughs) acts like he can't substitute a fidelia onion for a yellow onion Bobby mm-hmm. Flay's dickhead brother <laughs> looking for cilantro. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, <laughs> Bobby, Bobby Flay, dickhead brother. This is shoddy Alton Brown impersonator. <laughs> Complaining like about Because you know somebody else was back there too when she yeah. walked back in there. It's like, what, what are you back again? Yeah, I got Bobby Flay's dickhead brother yeah, out there. Yeah. <laughs> mm, you got any mint back here? <laughs> is this all the rosemary oh. you have? I'm sorry. <laughs> Sorry, our herbs are up to your standards. Uh, don't even get me started on the Italian parsley. No oh, heavens. Oh. Wilting at the tips, ma'am. Already it's turning. wilting at the tips. Like I wouldn't even have to chop it. It's just ugh. it's like wet paper. And every time it's the oh. Ace and TJ show with a little something extra. This is the extra funny podcast. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitron. Winter is here, which means you're just going to stay inside and not do anything fun and exciting, right? No, that is wrong. Because this year, you're going to go to acetj.com slash Gaston and see all of the incredible things that you can do right now in Gaston County. Everything is laid out for you from things to do to restaurants to bars to shopping to unique weekend activities. And we'll get you ready for the spring and the summer with a list of all their great festivals. Find all of this and much more at acetj.com slash Gaston. If you're so frustrated because you're having to run around all the time, you're so busy, you feel like you're not getting your family something great to eat, then you need Culver's. It's the perfect thing for you. Always made to order fresh, hot ingredients all day, every day. And not only do they have the freshest ingredients all day, every day, but they are a part of the community. They're proud to be a part of the Indian Trail community where they're under new ownership. Belmont, University Area, Salisbury. Make them a part of your daily routine. Make it your new neighborhood spot. Short waits for the freshest food in town. Get details at a tj.com slash culvers